Okay, don't mind the angle, but good morning everybody. So today I thought I'd film a little, it's either going to be a day or a weekend, but I'm not sure at the moment. But today I'm actually getting my hair redone. So I had to get rebooked, like extended after because of COVID. So I couldn't go in for my like initial appointment. So it's gotten rescheduled for today. But because of the restrictions, they've put like all the appointments in their main salon. And I normally go to like the off, like the sister salon. So. I've never been to the other one before and I need to try and work out where it is. It says it's around the corner there, but I couldn't see it. So I do have half an hour to find it, which is good. But um, there's a really nice um, restaurant behind me, High Road. So I thought I'd see if they had like any small breakfast things that I can take away because I've only had a coffee today. And I'm feeling a little sick in the stomach just because I haven't had anything with it. So yeah, well, this is the before. I will take like a proper before in the shot obviously this is a lot better than the red that i had but this is now gone like a bit reddish brown as well so this is kind of the reference picture that i um am going for although or not we'll actually get that today i doubt but that's what we're aiming for so i'm very excited but yeah i'm gonna try and find something to eat real quick and try and find where the hell i'm actually supposed to go right so i think i'm gonna struggle to find somewhere because high road was too busy like there are people waiting outside for tables and I just don't think I want to wait in line to not even sit in there. I'm like to just get a takeaway so I'm walking down but everything is like lunch places so it's kind of all closed. I'm not sure now but I'll just walk around the block. If not I'm just I'll just head in. <laughs> shop at my hair appointment which I'll show you in a second but then I pretty much met Clancy we went to Grace Monkeys again for lunch but we brought it home instead and just had it here and then we also just popped down we need to get some cat food for getting up but then we also popped down to the shops just to grab some extra stuff I especially needed some frozen berries for my smoothies that I make every morning but yeah this is what my hair turned out like there is some some dark spots underneath still just because it was a, a half ahead of foils because when i had originally booked all the covid restrictions were still in so they weren't doing like extra long appointments although saying that last time when i did a full head of foils my appointment was at 10 and it finished at 2 and this session was a half ahead of foils and my appointment was at 10 and i finished at 2 so i don't know how that all works how that all works but she also did do some extra bits on the ends for the patches underneath that we couldn't actually like do the roots. So she said she would do that for me as well. So that was really nice. But I also had to pick up some extra bits and bobs because I'd run out of shampoo and conditioner. So I obviously want to like not use, I obviously don't want to use supermarket shampoo and conditioner because they just don't have like the best ingredients in them, especially like with dyed hair that needs like that extra like treatment and help. So they were doing 
like a Christmas pack. So you got a shampoo conditioner and then you also got a hair mask, but you pretty much only pay for the shampoo and conditioner. So you pretty much get the hair mask for free. And then I also needed to pick up like a salon quality purple shampoo because I don't have one. Um, and especially like before it was definitely still more on the brown side and this is definitely like a lot lighter so i definitely wanted to get like a really good one so i don't know how to pronounce that but this is the shampoo and conditioner i picked up it's such a cute color like this this green this is so cute but this is a more hydrating one so the old shampoo and conditioner i had was still like a salon quality one but this one's just a bit more hydrating because going so light dries out your hair and also using purple shampoo dries out your hair so she just gave me a more hydrating one and then also has this hair mask which looks like peanut butter it looks so good but obviously don't need it this is the little hair mask as well and then I also picked up a silver blonde juice I don't know how to say that purple shampoo so this is one they recommended and it's actually like quite a big bottle of them like $30 which is like awesome to be honest and it all came in this little this cute little bag and actually you know what you know those fold out makeup bags and you just try the string and then you just take all your makeup with you that kind of reminds me of this kind of reminds me of that. But yeah, I just thought I would check in and let you guys know how it went. But I'm very, very happy with it. It looks a little bit more yellow in the light. In this lighting. But it's not. It's like a nice beigey colour. But So I'm not sure what we're going to do for the rest of the evening. We are very full from lunch. So we did get some fruit. And we're probably just going to have that for dinner. There is some cleaning and stuff to do. But Clarice is going to have brunch with Harry tomorrow. So I'm thinking that I might do it tomorrow. And like maybe film a montage or something so i might just have this like the hair and then lunch and stuff um for today and then tomorrow i'll film like a proper like clean the house reset day i guess so yeah i guess that's gonna be it from me today and i will see you guys in the morning good morning everyone so today is a reset day which means doing everything that needs to be done so that i can start my monday correctly this can be different for everybody, for some people this means getting all their cleaning done and doing all the tasks you feel you don't want to have to do while you're working in the week, for others it's relaxing as much as possible after a long work week, and for others it's getting out, going shopping, hiking, maybe going out with friends, all the things you can't do around work. For me, it's a combination of all three depending on the week, but this week is a cleaning week. But first, I'm getting dressed because I want to walk down to the markets and grab some bagels for breakfast. The bagels from the Sunday markets are the most delicious and I've missed out the past couple of weeks. So today, I've made my way down to pick some up. Getting outside is extremely good for my mental health. So getting up and getting outside and going to the markets is a great start to a day where I could be inside quite a lot due to all the cleaning. When I get home, it's time for breakfast. I picked up three bagels and a danish for Clancy, and some strawberries, cherries, and I decided to have a toasted jalapeno bagel that I got from the markets with some sour cream seasoned with salt and pepper. And I also decided to have a moon milk because I didn't quite feel like having a coffee this morning. Even if you know everything you want to get done in a day in your head, make a list. Celebrating small goals throughout the day by checking them off will give you the motivation to keep going. Put on some music or a show you've seen a hundred times in the background so you won't get distracted and get it done. You'll feel so amazing afterwards. So then it was time to start the cleaning. The past couple of weeks have been super busy and the house is in a bit of a state. But you must remember that sometimes things happen and the house can end up messier some weeks than others. So this week we just have a bit more to tidy than usual. I did have to make a stop at the grocery store to pick up some cleaning products to be able to get everything done. And I was almost back at the car when I realised I'd forgotten the one thing that I needed most, which was laundry detergent. But that's okay, we don't let it get to us. 
I went back and picked it up and decided to be happy that I remembered while I was still in the shopping centre and not when I had already gotten home. Cleaning can sometimes be overwhelming, especially when it's been a busy week and you might have a little bit more to do to get everything sorted. This pile looked so hard and I really didn't want to do it, but we pushed through. I put on a show and look a nice tidy pile ready to put away. Clancy got home and was able to help me and I also took breaks in between as there was a lot to do and it was making me really exhausted. Remember to take breaks if you feel you need to and not feel upset if you don't get everything done in an hour. These things can sometimes take up the whole day and if you need to stop for a breather, that's completely okay. folded all of the washing and I'm going to start on the bedroom. Bedroom is, I wouldn't say it's that messy, but I kind of don't want to do it, but you have to. <laughs> I have to get through it, so I'm going to start small. Again, I'm going to watch some TV shows that I love and just power through and get everything done. to really have a look and think about the clothes that I own and what I really use and what I can put aside to give away. Then it was time for lunch. Today I'm having a Korean style taco we made the night before with HelloFresh. So it's just some chicken, onion, lettuce, carrot and chilies with some garlic aioli sauce. It was so yummy. I wish there was more left over, but we only had one left. After that, it was time to tackle the big boy, the shower. We have a bit of a ventilation problem in our bathroom, and unfortunately the shower can get a little moldy, which I know sounds gross, and we are a little embarrassed to admit that we have let it get out of hand without fixing it for a while, so that is why I'm doing it today. So I bought some mold killer from the supermarket and sprayed that pretty much over the entire shower. Left it for a couple minutes before rinsing with cold water, I could scrub away the gunk. And we're super happy to now have a clean shower. Some areas on the floor are still a little stained from my tan, but still it's looking a lot better than what it was before. I also had to drive to two different Kmarts to find this shower rack, just so we don't have to keep all our bottles of shampoo and body wash on the ground anymore and risk them getting dirty. All right, and then once everything for the day was finished, it was time to cook dinner. So we're doing another HelloFresh meal tonight. We have absolutely been loving doing HelloFresh. These have made meals so good, like not sponsored, but just still being able to cook but not have to worry about what we are actually cooking has been amazing for us. So this evening we're cooking zucchini, carrot and cheddar fritters with a roast veggie salad and babla noosh. This was so delicious, but pretty much how to make it is to cut up all the vegetables, so the sweet potato and the beetroot, drizzle with olive oil and season with salt and pepper to roast in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then while the veggies are roasting to grate the zucchini, squeeze out any excess moisture and then grate the carrot and thinly slice the onion. We had to mix all of that together with some shredded cheddar cheese, plain flour, vegetable stock, egg, salt, and a pinch of pepper, as well as the little chili flake packet that we got with the order. So once that was all mixed together, we created the little fritter kind of portions and chucked them into the frying pan on a high heat but they need about three to four minutes on each side so to make the salad as well that goes on the side we had to make a dressing with honey and white wine vinegar and some olive oil and then we had to toss in the roasted veggies with the mixed salad leaves and the little and the little pepitas i think is how you pronounce it the little seeds that we have on the top so then that was pretty much how we made the fritters. We kind of plated it all up, 
together and it was super delicious such a super colorful meal and we've also been loving having kind of some meals that are completely veggie and these were super filling and honestly these are probably I don't know about Clancy but for me this was definitely one of my favorite meals that we've had from HelloFresh so far so if you guys want any updates on that or another video on HelloFresh let me know and then after dinner I just had a shower, washed my hair, relax, put on some moisturiser and had some water on my bedside table before I went to sleep. So that has been my hair transformation and Sunday reset video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Definitely make sure to just subscribe if you're watching this and you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one.